Hey everyone, it's Mia from Jeddal and today we're going to be looking at identifying priority health issues, which is the first focus question of call one. This means that everyone is going to be tested on this topic, so it's essential you have a really good understanding. A tip for this syllabus area is to only understand trends in priority health issues. It's a common misconception that you need to memorise specific statistics, however this isn't actually necessary as the syllabus only specifies trends. However, it's sometimes good to have one or two up your sleeve to include in longer responses. In saying this, most of the content in this area of the syllabus is really common in multiple choice and short answer. Another thing to note is the importance of getting your head around the social justice principles. This is because it's something that occurs in later parts of the syllabus, which often have higher order verbs such as analyse and to what extent. So having this understanding from the start of the syllabus will really help you in those areas such as the Ottawa Charter. Let's have a look at this practice question, which is how does potential for prevention and early intervention address priority health issues in Australia? The first part of my response was, majority of the priority health issues experienced by Australians are caused by modifiable risk factors, e.g. high cholesterol diet, smoking, hypertension and sedentary lifestyles leading to cardiovascular disease. Thus, identifying diseases with potential for prevention and early intervention enable priority health issues to be addressed before they become an increasing burden on the population. Because this is a how question, it's important to provide some analysis of the topics you're covering. As you can see here, I've highlighted in yellow addressing things before they become an increasing burden on the population, which links back to my priority health issue, in this example, cardiovascular disease. I've also provided quite a few examples, such as high cholesterol diet, hypertension, using the abbreviation EG, which is fine for these questions because it means you can get to your examples quickly without wasting time writing it out every time. The second part of my response includes a more in-depth example. For example, the implementation of cancer screening services has led to a decrease in mortality due to early detection and treatment. In the long term, this has enabled resources to be used on other priority health issues, thereby reducing healthcare expenditure on public hospital treatment, the highest healthcare burden in Australia. High-risk lifestyles are also identified by government agencies to enable the implementation of relevant educational programs, e.g. SunSmart Tradie Toolbox, seeking to prevent the priority health issue of skin cancer. In this part of the response, I'm really indicating to the marker what the priority health issues are and how they can be met by prevention and early intervention. My specific examples relate to the priority health issue of cancer and I've included some examples of health promotion which aid in the prevention and early intervention. Thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below and check out jettle.com for more resources.